Imagine standing at the edge of San Francisco Bay, staring out at the vast turbulent waters that separate the city from Marin County. Now picture attempting to build a bridge over that, a bridge strong enough for countless traffic, wind, earthquakes, and the crushing power of ocean currents. Did you know the Golden Gate Bridge was once thought impossible to build? Many experts at the time doubted whether such a feat could be accomplished. The Golden Gate Bridge is more than just a breathtaking landmark. It's a testament to human ingenuity. Designed in the 30s, this bridge overcame massive challenges that would have deterred the most ambitious engineers. Through cutting-edge design, innovative materials, and physics, the Golden Gate Bridge was built not only to survive, but thrive. Before the Golden Gate Bridge, San Francisco was cut off from the surrounding areas by the waters of the Golden Gate Strait. The only way to travel between San Francisco and Marin County was by ferry. The population was increasing as well, and businesses needed faster access to transport goods and services. A bridge would completely revolutionize transport, linking the city to the rest of the California area and spurring economic growth. The Golden Gate Strait is infamous for its strong winds, thick fog, and unpredictable weather. Winds in the area can reach speeds up to 60 miles per hour, powerful enough to sway even the strongest structures. The frequent fog also creates visibility issues. Additionally, the waters beneath the bridge experience rapid tidal currents. Another significant challenge was the depth of the bay. The waters beneath the planned bridge location reached depths of 372 feet, making it one of the deepest bridge foundations ever attempted. Building stable foundations at such depths required groundbreaking engineering solutions to prevent structures from collapsing under its own weight. Perhaps the greatest challenge was the bridge's proximity to the San Andreas Fault, one of the most seismically active faults in the world. Any structure built in this region had to be able to withstand earthquakes which could strike at any time. Engineers had to carefully design the bridge with seismic resilience, ensuring it would not only survive but maintain function. Beyond the technical challenge, there was significant doubt and resistance from both public experts and many leading engineers at the time. Critics argued that the extreme conditions and financial cost would outweigh benefits. Even the U.S. military opposed the idea at first, fearing that a bridge could become a target for enemy attacks. Additionally, financial hurdles during the Great Depression made securing funding impossible until Chief Engineer Joseph Strauss and a team of visionaries found ways to turn his dream into reality. The Golden Gate Bridge is a suspension bridge, a design chosen for its ability to span long distances while remaining strong and flexible. When it was completed in 1937, it held the title of the longest suspension bridge in the world, stretching 1.7 miles across the Golden Gate Strait. At the time, no other bridge had ever attempted such a vast distance with such extreme environment challenges. At the heart of the bridge's engineering success are its two colossal towers, each standing at 746 feet tall, making them taller than the Washington Monument. These towers act as the primary support structures, holding the main cables that suspend the bridge. They were built on massive concrete foundations anchored deep into the ocean floor. Another key feature of the Golden Gate Bridge is its main cables, which are marvels of engineering. Each cable stretches an astonishing 7,650 feet in length and contains 27,572 individual steel wires, tightly wound together to form an incredibly strong support system. These cables are responsible for bearing the immense weight of the bridge while distributing the force across the towers, ensuring stability even under heavy traffic and strong winds. One of the most fascinating aspects of the Golden Gate Bridge is how it balances strength and flexibility. Unlike rigid structures, suspension bridges rely on intricate systems of cables and supports that allow them to move with the forces of nature. The main cables play a crucial role in the design. They're anchored at both ends of the bridge and drape over two towering supports, holding the deck through vertical suspender cables. This setup allows the bridge to flex in response to high winds and traffic. This adaptability is essential in an environment where wind speeds can reach 60 miles per hour and where the bridge must endure the constant expansion and contraction caused by temperature changes. Another key structural element is the truss system, located beneath the bridge deck. This rigid framework of interconnected steel beams adds extra stability and prevents excess movement, reducing the impact of oscillations. Without the truss, the bridge deck would be far more susceptible to swing and vibration, potentially making it unsafe. To truly grasp the magnitude of this engineering masterpiece, consider this. The bridge contains a staggering 83,000 tons of steel, enough to build more than 10 Eiffel Towers. This steel was specially designed to withstand corrosion and harsh weather conditions. 
ensuring the bridge's longevity even in the face of saltwater exposure and constant stress. Despite the seemingly impossible challenges, the Golden Gate Bridge stands today as a testament to innovative engineering, bold vision, and human perseverance. The Golden Gate Bridge is built as one of the most seismically active regions in the world, near the San Andreas Fault and the Hayward Fault. To survive earthquakes, the bridge can sway up to 27 feet without collapsing. This controlled swaying movement prevents the structure from becoming too rigid or breaking under seismic stress. A major factor is earthquake resistance in its flexible foundation. The bridge's towers are anchored deep into massive concrete blocks embedded in the seabed. These foundations help absorb seismic forces while keeping the tower stable. During the earthquake, instead of resisting the shaking force entirely, the bridge is engineered to flex and dissipate the energy, preventing catastrophic failure. However, seismic safety is an ongoing challenge. After the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake, which measured 6.9 on Richter, engineers realized that parts of the bridge needed additional reinforcement. This led to a multi-phase seismic retrofit project, strengthening key structural elements in the bridge. These upgrades ensured that the bridge could withstand a magnitude 8 earthquake, securing its place as a long-term lifeline in the region. In addition to earthquakes, the Golden Gate Bridge must endure intense wind that can reach up to 60 miles per hour or more. Without the right design elements, strong winds could exert immense pressure on the bridge, causing catastrophic failure. One of the bridge's key defenses against wind pressure is its open truss structure beneath the deck. Unlike a solid structure that would act like a giant sail against the wind, the truss allows air to flow through, reducing wind resistance and preventing dangerous oscillations. This is a crucial innovation that helps the bridge remain stable. Another major improvement came in 2020, when engineers installed a new aerodynamic railing to further enhance wind resistance. With this modification, it made the bridge more stable. It also produced a strange effect. People reported hearing an eerie high-pitched hum when strong winds passed through the new railings. This unexpected phenomenon, while harmless, became a famous quirk of the bridge modernization efforts. The importance of these wind-resistant features became clear when we look at the infamous Tacoma Narrows Bridge disaster of 1940. That bridge, known as Galloping Gertie, collapsed due to aeroelastic flutter, a phenomenon where wind-induced vibrations grow uncontrollably. Unlike the Golden Gate Bridge, Tacoma Narrows had a solid roadway that couldn't allow wind to pass through, which led to its eventual failure. The lessons learned from this disaster influenced engineering worldwide, reinforcing the need for flexible wind-resistant designs. Thanks to these earthquake-proofing and wind-resistant measures, the Golden Gate Bridge remains one of the safest and most resilient bridges in the world. The construction of the Golden Gate Bridge took place during the Great Depression, one of the most challenging periods of U.S. history. At a time when unemployment was at an all-time high, the bridge provided thousands of jobs to San Francisco workers. The project not only offered immediate relief to the unemployed, but also played a crucial role in helping to boost the local economy. Despite the grim economic conditions, the bridge became a symbol of hope and perseverance, demonstrating the power of large-scale infrastructure projects that provide both employment and long-term value to the community. The bridge's $35 million cost was significant, but its benefits outweighed the investment. It became a vital transport link, enhancing trade, tourism, and general economic landscapes of the region. Today, the Golden Gate Bridge continues to be a major contributor to the economy, with over 112,000 vehicles crossing it daily. The bridge is no longer just a transportation link. It's become an iconic landmark recognized worldwide. It continues to be a vital part of the Bay Area's infrastructure, with over 112,000 vehicles crossing it every day. The bridge's symbolic importance transcends functional roles. It's become a symbol of human achievement, standing as a great reminder of what can be accomplished through determination, innovation, and courage. Today, the Golden Gate Bridge remains a vital connection for commuters and an enduring testament of the resilience of those who built it under the most challenging circumstances.